Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario World. And now we're gonna go ahead and unlock the secret level zone, <clears throat> whatever you want to call it. Since we're here, I mean, might as well. So it's actually in this room, and I know I should have got this. But all you want to do is you want to. Oops. Yeah, that's why I got the uh, second. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna start using that button more often. Okay. Yeah, but it, you just want to come over here and then just run the rest of the way. And then it's actually <clears throat> right over here. It's not even that hard to get. I don't know why I didn't get it in the first place. You can also go ahead and pick you up some extra lives. Extra lives are good. And then... <laughs> do we get to do the uh, special game? Nope. We were only two away. How sad. Okay, here it is. The top secret area. Now here, it's just, it's basically just a refill station. You get flowers. Yoshi, why not? And then, the uh, feathers. So it's something pretty useful you can use. It's, it's pretty useful when you go to the uh, star zone and everything. But now, we're going to go ahead and go on to the next area, which is this bridge, cheese bridge area. Now, I know we were, we were already here and everything, but, uh, yeah. Wow, that was some very good commentary. <laughs> okay. Now here we can use these Yoshi feather wings, whatever. And now we can fly. Now if you fall down here, nothing will happen, I don't think. Um, I think you just automatically beat the level. Um, if you fall, but I guess you could try to get the dragon coins here. Or the Yoshi coins so you can get um, an extra life if you really want to. Or you could just fall down. But, may as well show what this uh, area is like. Holy moly. Now to fly, all you gotta do is obviously keep hitting the uh, jump button over and over again. Eat the fuzzies. And then... Just kill yourself, or fall down. You think you're killing yourself, but it actually just beats the level for you. Cookie Mountain. Mmm. Cheese. Cookies. This area's making me hungry. Ooh, these guys. Now, the only way you can kill these guys is if you hit them from below. Because they're just built like that, I guess. No. Oh, now we got a purple Yoshi. Um, now these things, if you eat any color shell, you can fly, which is kind of a nice little thing. No. Oh, We lost it. Dang. I don't really care. I'm not even going to use the back button. I don't care. It doesn't really matter to me. I, I can survive without a Yoshi, I hope. Let's grab an extra life. Why not? Wait, that just takes you kind of backwards, I think. Wait. Ooh, we get another Yoshi. It's pretty cool. Might as well. Ooh, we pooped out a cloud. Nice. That must be kind of painful, pooping out a cloud. But then again, it's probably not. I think if you collect all of them, 
all the coins, you get something at the end. I'm not really too sure about that. Oh yeah, get an extra life. Okay, we beat Cookie Mountain. That area wasn't very hard. Oops. Okay. And now we're already to the castle. L Ludwig. Ludwig's castle. What a name. And this castle is, was generally a pain in the butt for me when I was younger. Um, just because of this area. This area always bugged me for some reason. I guess it's because of all the ball and chains. Holy crap. Oh, I thought I could make that. Hmm. Dang it, I don't care. I don't want to mess with it right now. Okay, they're nice enough to give you a mushroom at the end. Now here, yeah, you want to hit that as quick as possible. It's so basically my strategy for this is just get to the end of this as quick as possible. Or else you'll turn into a Mario pancake. Or you'll get stuck to one of the spikes. Okay, now we're to here. This part doesn't really bug me as much as uh, the earlier parts. Here you can grab a feather. Might be kind of useful. I need to stop doing that. I really do. Okay. Oop. Well, that kind of sucked. Okay, now I don't know if there's anything to the right of that path, but we're just going to go ahead and continue on. Now, just like all the other ones, you can just stomp on this guy's head. Oh, and he turns into a shell. Watch that. Whoa, how did that? Uh, he shot that out after I had uh, taken him out. Now you want to make sure he's kind of to the left, or else he'll jump backwards off of the screen and you won't be able to get him. But he's dead. <laughs> he just like puffs away. And this is actually the smallest area in the game, if you really think about it. And here's one of my favorite castle destruction animations or cutscenes. <laughs> He's like, what the? <laughs> Poor Mountain. Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa's symphonies. In castle number four are over. The forest of illusion lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle of this perplexing forest. Yep. This area is a bit confusing, but not too bad. Now, almost every level in this area is going to have a secret exit, and whether you find it or not is totally up to you. Eh, why not? Still can't believe that those little round things are Koopas. They don't really seem like it. Or Goombas, not Koopas, what am I saying? Let's see if I can get this extra life. There we go. Now, I haven't showed this yet. But if you stomp on one of those caterpillar things heads, uh, they will kind of spaz out. But I'm not going to show it because now I got this. And the phone rings. Uh oh, okay. Dang, they got us up to 51. Now, you want to <laughs> Yoshi fell straight into the pit. You want to ditch your Yoshi. 
and you want to float over to here. And this is the secret exit, not the normal. So. I wonder how that would feel to be inflated. You. And this leads over this way to the forest ghost house. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to end the part here. So, see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario World. Bye.